what is up guys and today we are going to be doing the tutorial for soulmates you guys really liked the performance video on the trick in general so thank you so much for that and today we are going to be doing the tutorial um, I have no microphone today due to specific circumstances and it, is, it also might be um, that the camera wobbles a bit although I'm not 100% sure about that and so my apologies for that as I'm for this video um, but anyway let's get straight into it and what we're going to have to do is a quick setup with um, these queens we're going to take one of the uh, heart we're going to take the queen of hearts and we're going to place it first on the top of the deck and we're going to take the spades and the clubs and we're going to place those on top then we're going to take the queen of diamonds and place it on the bottom of the deck make sure you don't flash the bottom of the deck um, because then they'll see the queen and then later on the trick um, you'll force the queens of them they'll have seen it on the bottom of your deck and they'll start getting a bit suspicious so the first thing you're going to tell the spectator is that obviously you're going to shuffle the deck a bit um, my favorite way of doing this is just doing the normal ripple so shuffle. My favorite way of doing this is just doing the uh, normal ripple shuffle. So you split the deck in half, and of course, make sure that this one queen gets down first, and that the queens here get down as well. So just leave enough cards there. To Normal shuffle the deck and still have hopefully three queens here in the So here. now that we've shuffled the deck, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell the spectator um, that we're gonna let them pick two cards. Of course, they're gonna think it's their decision, but we're gonna be forcing the queens on them. And you really can cool place force. the deck in your preferred hand. What you're gonna do is gonna put your pointing finger on the bottom of the deck thumb on the uh, upper corner and your three remaining fingers on the side and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll through the deck like so and it honestly does not matter where you stop you just tell the spectator to say stop whatever you want so scrolling they say stop this is just where you force the top part so we scroll through they say stop let's say there what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, free hand and you're gonna go over the card, hiding it from uh, the spectator's view. You can also move your hands a bit more backwards, but you're gonna put your hand over the card. And what you're gonna be doing is I'm gonna show up. So you're gonna take your two, um, you're gonna take your middle finger and your ring finger. And you're gonna take uh, those are gonna go up here, and your thumb on the bottom. And you're just going to grab the top packet that you've just um, stopped at and you're going to use these three fingers to apply pressure on the top card so that when you pull the packet out, pretty much the top card is staying with the rest of the deck. So once you've stopped, scroll through the deck and stop, you're going to put your hand over and you're just going to make sure that you keep that top card with the rest of the uh, bottom packet and now you're just gonna say like yeah the top card that's the first card you've selected make sure you put it face down so that you can't see it yet and then you just place the top packet back so where now it was. we still have one queen remaining on the top and one queen remaining on the bottom And up till now, the spectator thinks that they've been selecting all of these cards so um, on their own So this is kind of where you begin your speech about soulmates. You explain to the spectator what soulmates are. If you want to see how I did that, uh, look at the performance video. So you can kind of use my uh, explanation there, how I did it there. But pretty much you explain the idea of soulmates. You maybe give a few examples like the three of clubs has a soulmate of three of spades. Things like that. So, what you say is, well, for instance, the Queen of Spades, flip the card, what would its soulmate be? Queen of Clubs, right? Well, if we look at your second selection, we see that you pick the two soulmates of each other. That's pretty cool, right? And like, what you can do is you can compliment the, spec compliment the spectator, making them think 
and they of course actually chose that themselves. They didn't of course, but that's not cool enough. Two two queens is not cool enough. We need all four queens. So what you do is you go to the two packets over here. You grab the top packet and you say, "Well, if we look at the top card on this packet, which you also selected, you flip it on. You got the Queen of Hearts. You place it down over here. That's also really cool. And then the soulmate of the Queen of Hearts is the Queen of Diamonds. Now we reveal to the spectator that you have all four queens, the soulmates of each other, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Clubs, Queen of Spades. They'll be in shock. They'll have no idea how you got all four queens here. Um, you'll be really pleased. And of course, it's a really cool trick. Very easy to do. Maybe I'll make a more in-depth tutorial on how to uh, force the card, the specific type of force. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe uh, to AW Tricks for more videos like this. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.